Alright guys, uh, a few people have asked me on different uh, websites about dash cams and stuff and wiring them in uh, permanently to a car so there's no uh, cigarette lighter hanging out and no wire running up to the mirror. Uh, they've, uh, I've, there's a few different ways you can wire this and there's a few different schools of thought on it. Some people like it a certain way, some people like it a different way. So I'm going to go through a couple of the ways. I know there's a million ways you can do this go through a couple of the ways that are more common and easier to do for the average person. So through the magic of video editing, I'm going to show uh, a picture here, a couple of add a circuits they're called, or add a fuse. And what this is, is you're typically going to want to find your cigarette lighter fuse, pull it out, put this add a fuse in there, and then put two, uh, typically 15 amp is your, uh, your cigarette lighter uh, fuses into this thing and this will still allow your cigarette lighter to work just as it normally would but it also gives you an additional wire off the side and that extra wire uh, is your positive for whatever your project is um, or there's that second type that shows the just the single prong as long as that's put in on the on the I guess the right side of the fuse like not necessarily left and right but the, the side of the fuse where the power flows to the out out of the fuse then that's fine to use as well uh, it will use the same power as your cigarette lighter so you don't want to overload it by putting too much stuff in there because if you put in too much stuff in the cigarette lighter plus the video camera you might you might end up blowing the fuse uh, they're usually fused to 15 amp the camera I don't know what it takes, I'd have to look at the specs, but I don't think it's excessive, so it's not really an issue, but it depends on which you can get and what's most convenient for you and what you prefer. So I'm going to show two methods, and this is actually the uh, adapter that comes with the Ojo cam, the camera that I use. Uh, this is the one that came in the box with it. So I'm going to show you two methods. One is taking this apart and just wiring the uh, the internals of this into a 12 volt source you're at a circuit or just 12 volt wires if you just want to tap if you're comfortable with tapping into the wires in your car that's how I do it but some people like the add a circuit it's more clean it's easier to reverse stuff like that so um, then the other option is to grab one of these it's just a, a cigarette lighter power source kind of deal and I got this off of eBay for a couple bucks I don't remember what it is and you can just plug this into here and then just wire this in under your dash to your add a circuit or just to direct power this one has a fuse built in so it's not needed to have the add a circuit because it's already got adequate protection in here so you could just tap this into an accessory wire in your car and not have to worry about having any issues. The problem with this method is, that I don't like is it's huge. And you have to try to find somewhere underneath the dash to stuff that and tie it up so it's not gonna short out on anything. So that's kind of an issue for me. I don't, I don't prefer that method. Um, I just had these kicking around. So I figured I'd show that method because uh, these are for my, for my RV. I'm gonna install some 12 volt, volt outlets in my RV. Um, so that's why I had those. So I was just showing that method as an, as an alternative. But the method that I prefer to use is taking this apart because you re you need this because it's a step down from 12 volt to a 5 volt USB for the camera and the camera cannot take a 12 volt direct. If you do that, you'll probably fry the camera. Um, so the basics about this uh, cigarette lighter is that the pin is positive. That's your 12 volt source and then these two ears on the outside are your negatives. Uh, that's how it's wired up as a cigarette lighter. So that's all you have to remember when you take it apart is make sure that your pin is positive and your ears are negative. So this is really easy to take apart. You just unthread the end plastic piece here and it just comes off. And in there is a fuse. Uh, so that fuse is not really necessary if you do the add a circuit because you're adding a fuse anyway. So you just unthread that and then you just pry the case apart and it comes apart. And then you can just pull the whole circuit board out. And so this is your ear. So this, this is going to be your negative wire. So you just follow that onto the board. They'll all be different, slightly different. Um, you just follow that onto the board and that's your negative wire. So what I do is I unsolder this one because I don't like having red 
as a negative. I don't know why they use a red wire. It just must be just what they have. So I unsolder that from the board. I solder a new lead on, like six, give yourself six, eight inches um, of similar gauge wire. And then same with this spring here. That spring is your positive. So there's just a big blob of solder on the bottom there. You just heat that up to melt that and that spring will fall off. You can solder a new wire on there the same length as your other wire and then you have a positive and a negative wire. This is considerably smaller. You can just wrap this in electrical tape or something so that there's not going to be any shorting or anything when you put it up under your dash. And you can tie that up under your dash a lot smaller and a lot cleaner and a lot easier in my opinion anyway. So you just run a wire from here to your negative, here to your positive, your add a circuit, your accessory wire, wherever you're ending up doing it in your car, uh, and tuck this up under the dash and totally forget about it. And then you just run this wire, which is like a 15 foot wire. I mean, it's plenty of length for any vehicle to go from the dash to behind the, the rear view mirror, which is where you typically mount your camera. So that's it, just a couple examples of uh, how you can hardwire a dash cam into your car. Pretty simple, pretty clean. It took me about 15 minutes. I do have pretty good knowledge of the electronics in the car, but it took me about 15 minutes on the weekend to do mine this way. So it's pretty simple. Give it a shot.